<laughs> so many brilliant interviews uh, I've seen with uh, of Mark E. Smith. That is uh, quite a classic. What's up, you two? That's good. What's up, YouTube? Hello. I would, I would like a bunch of flowers. No, no, that's not what I meant to say. What's up, YouTube? Hi. Uh, I thought I would continue my uh, sort of, well, it's not a series really, but uh, interviews rather than. Um, I've got all the right words, just not necessarily in the right place. Uh, I thought I would continue my series, which is not really a series of interviews. And this is the wonderful um, and and terrifying Marquis e. Smith interviewed by Lauren Laverne. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see what sort of a job uh, she does trying to control Mark E. Smith, you know, hooking out. I oh, don't know, isn't it? You know, uh, 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 here we go then. Um, right. In 1976, Johnny Rotten and Sid Vicious played just 30 miles down the road, giving the Northwest music scene a right on Lee Trembler. The infamous gig. The infamous gig resulted in the birth of Joy Division, the Mondays, and Simply Red, and of course, this lot. That was pretty shit, wasn't it? Because uh, she had to go round the microphone. They obviously hadn't hadn't uh, rehearsed that properly. Tom Peel's favourite band of all time have been going for 30 years, produced an incredible 78 albums worth of music, and been one of the British music scene's most influential bands since the Sex Pistols. They are the Fall, and this is Mark E. Smith. <laughs> Yeah. And welcome mm. to Liverpool. Obviously, you're a yeah. famous Mancunian. <clears throat> Is there a bit of rivalry between the two cities, do you think? Not at all, no. No, <laughs> you, you, you love Liverpool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a tough interview. You love Liverpool. Yeah. We've got our first breaks <laughs> in uh, <laughs> Liverpool. Glances nervously at the camera there. Uh, right, it, now she's on to something. We got our first break. Eric's. All oh, right. There's was was a club. Uh... Used to play up <laughs> 29 years ago, presumably, then. <laughs> she had to finish his sentence for him. It's a club. Wow. Let's just go back. Where was that? Eric's. All oh, right. There's was was a club. Uh... Used to play it's a, a club war. 29 years ago, presumably, then, when the fourth. I'm not a big Manchester fan, actually. I'm, not, I'm a, a lot more fond of <laughs> Change subjects, disturbingly. Years yes. we've been together, over a thousand gigs. Right. <laughs> she draws it straight back. She draws it straight back. 29 years, we've been together, presumably, then, when the fourth. I'm not a big Manchester fan, actually. Left field. I'm a lot more fond of Liverpool. 29 years, we've been together, over a thousand gigs. Right. You know, right. you're, you're back with a new album. Look away. Do you think it's the best work that it's you've done? It's the best thing I've done for a while. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot, of, uh, a lot younger sound, isn't it? Younger sound. So you've got this new lineup, so, and you think it's yeah. going to breathe a bit of new yeah. life in there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. your, your missus is, is still in there, and she was in the last lot, right? <laughs> right, yeah. Do you ever think about sort of maybe replacing her and then think, oh, I can't, I can't go that lot, right? <laughs> right, yeah. I can't. Do you ever think about sort of... I can't joke about coughing, right? Awful coughing. I have got a medical condition, whereas he's just Mark It's a bit of new life yeah. in there. Uh, but yeah. your, your missus is, is still in there and she was in the last lot, right? <laughs> right, yeah. Did you ever think about sort of maybe replacing her and then think, oh, I, I can't go that far? Don't get funny now. No, I'm just checking. Just Don't asking. Get funny now. You've just written your autobiography as well, which is due out later in the year. Uh, yeah. With all of the kind of lineups that the fall have been through and all the past yeah. members. You know, could you remember it all yourself or did you have to kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Could he remember it all himself? Of course he fucking couldn't. He's a burnt out shell of a man, hollowed out by too much speed. You know, could you remember it all yourself or did you have to kind of well, get in got, touch got with people? Right, yeah. Yeah. Did you? Like Jordan? No, no. Uh, don't okay, push so your luck. Like Jordan. 
No, no. Um, okay, so you got someone out of your own. nervous breakdown. Really? Like I'm sure he did. The engineers who worked on the old, the old thing. Is that... I think uh, she's going to have a nervous breakdown in a minute. Let's see. Like the last three engineers who worked on the old, the old thing. Is that something that you've done to them, Mark? Are you, are you, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know what it, it is. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think you're hard to work with? People seem to go a bit crackers when they're around me. Mm -hmm. I'm a nice fellow, as you can see. I like to see that. You seem very nice to me. So the autobiography, you've got a ghostwriter in. Did they have to contact members of the four previous members no, that many of No, no, no. That's, that's, that's why I did it, to be honest. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. let there's it. Been a lot of, there's, about, there's been about three books about the four. Oh. They're all rubbish. What was your favourite kind of memory that you got to oh, relive? Gosh. Meeting you at the NME Awards. <laughs> Look at that face. Relive. Meeting you at the NME Awards. I'm totally wired. <laughs> Meeting you at the NME Awards. Got to relive. Meeting you at the NME Awards. Right, okay. Uh, we've got famous son of Liverpool, Ian McCulloch, on this show later. Oh, good, is he all right? He is, he's good. He's given us a guided tour of the city. Have you ever been around Liverpool what, with Ian? Show? Yeah, he is, yeah. Slag. It's <laughs> <laughs> it easy to miss that. What, on the show? He is, he's good. Listen. He's given us a guided tour of the city. Have you ever been around Liverpool what, on with the Ian? Show? On the show, yeah, he's, he's interested. Yeah. Slag. 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 What, on the show? Have you ever been around Liverpool what, on with the show? Yeah, he is, yeah. Slag. Slag. <laughs> Have you ever been uh, ripped up the city, <laughs> ripped up Liverpool with Ian McCulloch? Uh, not really, no. No, no the not four really. have continued to be a big influence on, you know, loads of bands that are around today. I mean, I know Franz Ferdinand, Love You, Block Party, Always Gone About You, even bands like LCD Sound System. Um, how do you feel about that? They don't sound anything like us. I think they don't have to sound like you to, to be in play. Do you think so? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you, are there any bands around that you think have Wait a, a minute, experience? wait a minute. He says they don't sound anything like us, it's plagiarism. He's got it wrong there, hasn't he? Because if it's plagiarism, they should be stealing the full sound and sounding like them. Just watch. I think they don't have to sound like you to, to be in plagiarism, isn't it? Do you think so? He's yeah. just taking the piss. Do you, are there any bands around that you <laughs> think have a bit of the spirit of the fall? The Reynolds girls from Liverpool, they're a good one. I'd rather Jack than Fleetwood yeah, Mac. Yeah. I've got that on 7-inch actually, <laughs> it's, it's good, good, good record. It's good, it's good. Yeah. Who are you listening to at the minute then? Me? Mm. Uh, myself. <laughs> myself? <laughs> Fair good. dooms, why not? I've heard it's a fantastic record. Right, it is a very good record. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks very much Mark. Mark E. Smith everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. He's off. Up. Off for a pint. If you're between and 40 some, and uh, illegal substances, fucking oh, like, oh, it's like, yeah. oh, don't know who this twat is. Um, anyway, right, <laughs> that's Marky e. Smith. I mean, actually, <laughs> so many brilliant interviews uh i've seen with uh of mark e smith that is uh quite a classic and i think i might have to run with this because it's very very funny uh i've also got a lovely interview with uh of uh who's the dickhead from baby shambles um him anyway and uh he's obviously completely off his head on heroin uh, which is quite funny because he's talking about how he's giving up heroin and he'll never touch it again because he's just got out of prison. Uh, so I might do that one as well. Thank you. Uh, that was fun, actually. I really, I actually really enjoyed that. Not like usually when I do videos, it's boring. Um, but uh, that, that was good. So uh, yeah, definitely do some more Marky e. Smith and uh, the the guy from, what's his name? Oh, the most amazing poet of his generation. Yeah, whatever. Uh, anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, don't nobody go. <laughs>